there. Yes, this is what I've been reduced to. Cutting onions in my own kitchen with this on my face. Oh. Actually, I don't mind the rag. It's the onions I mind. I've been cutting up onions for tomorrow's class. I offered at the beginning of the term to show a movie and serve a meal. And so we're going to be doing that tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to it. But I've never cooked Egyptian food before. And that's what I'm trying to do. Because we're talking about Egypt in class on our world tour. And then we are going to watch Prince of Egypt as a transition between Egypt this week and Israel next week. So I've got a couple of recipes. And I can't even tell you their names. I'll put those in later. But they call for a lot of onions. And the onions at the market outside my gate are red onions. And they are surprisingly juicy, smelly, whatever it is that puts in the air and makes you want to cry. I had to take two breaks in the middle of cutting before I could get through them, and it was just three onions. I'm very, very, very glad for this. If you don't know, you can get onion smell off your hands. You can hardly smell it. It's almost gone now. I've been scrubbing on this just by rubbing against stainless steel or whatever. I don't know. I use soap, too. Possibly that helps. But anyway, got to go back in there and fry them now and do something with the beans. <sighs> I love cooking and I have fun with it and living overseas I get creative about using different kinds of substitutions and things because you can't always get everything here but I know enough about cooking to know that I don't know enough about Egyptian cooking to know what kind of substitutes I should be making. So I'm just hoping that this turns out good. It's probably not going to turn out like anything actually Egyptian. I've got one expired can of lentils that I probably won't be able to use, but I'm going to check it and see if it's good. But I don't know where to get lentils here. I tried two stores and they couldn't help me, and I'm not going down to the imported market. And I can't get the red kind of beans for the other one either, so I'm just sort of guessing based on what sort of looks right from what I've compared on the internet for substitutions for them. But the best thing for lentils apparently is soybeans, but those take forever to cook, and I didn't start cooking the beans till tonight, so that's not going to happen. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to make chili with whatever beans are left over. <laughs> I've got too many, so I'm looking forward to that. Alrighty, back to the